All right, so in this problem, I have 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to 2. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 0 0.01 to the power of x is equal to log 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 0 0.01 to the power of x. And I can simply move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 0 0.01 is equal to log 2. Now 0 0.01, this is the same thing as 1 over 100. So now I have x times log 1 over 100 is equal to log 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, I have log 1 over 100. And I can rewrite this as log x times log 1 minus log 100. This is equal to log 2. So now, log 1 simply equal to 0, and log 100 is simply equal to 2. So I have x times 0 minus 2 is equal to log 2. That's equal to approximately 0 0.301. Now, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, so I have negative 2 times x is equal to 0 0.301. And now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. So these two cancel out and I'm left with x is equal to 0 0.301 over negative 2, which is equal to negative 0 0.1505. So this is my answer. All right, guys, in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have 3 to the power of x times. Now 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x, that's simply 1. So I have 1 plus, again, it's the same thing, 1 plus Final time, the same thing. And this is equal to 333. Now, if I add what's in the parentheses, I get 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 333. So now I obviously want to isolate 3 to the power of x because this is the term that has the variable x that we're solving for. So I want to try to find a way to get rid of this 3. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now, these two 3's simply cancel out, and I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 333 divided by 3, which is 111. So now, I got this equation. 3 to the power of x is equal to 111. So, to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 111. So now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So for log 3 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. 
So now that would lead to me having x times log 3 is equal to log 111. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So then for my left hand side, these two log 3s simply cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to log 111 over log 3. So now, if I have something in the form log a over log b, this is simply equal to log base b of a. So in this case, I have log 111 over log 3, and I can write this as log base 3 of 111. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 22 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. So I know at first glance, this problem looks pretty complicated. However, it's actually easier than you might think it is. So for this problem, I'm solving for the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 2 to the power of 22 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now, it's 22 here. This is the same thing as 21 plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 21 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 21 plus 1, I can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 8 to the power of x. And now, from here, 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, from, for my left-hand side, if I factor out 2 to the power of 21, I get 2 to the power of 21 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. This is still equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 1, that's equal to 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So I'm left with 2 to the power of 21 times 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, anything times 1, it's simply itself. So 2 to the power of 21 times 1 is simply 2 to the power of 21. So I have 2 to the power of 21 times 2, or is, sorry, is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. So I have 2 to the power of 21 is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 21 is equal to 3x. So I have 21 is equal to 3x. All I have to do to solve this is simply divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to 21 divided by 3, which is simply 7. So x equals 7 is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation five to the power of x is equal to 50. So to first start with this problem, let's test different values of x. So if x is one, then I get five to the power of one, which is equal to five, and this is too low. Now if, it's, if x equals two, I get five to the power of two, which is 25, and this again is too low. Now if x equals three, then I have phi to the power of three, which is 125, and this is way too high. So we know that the value of x is gonna be somewhere in between two and three, meaning it's gonna be a decimal. So how are we gonna find the exact value of x? 
Well, to start, we're going to be using logarithms. So I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log phi to the power of x is equal to log 50. And the reason I'm doing this is because logarithms come with a special property that state that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move the exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So in this case, I have log phi to the power of x, and we can think of x as b. And I can move this x to the front. So now I get x times log 5 is equal to log 50. And now remember, we want to find the value of x. So all we have to do to do that is to get rid of this log 5 by dividing both sides by log 5. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. And now, let's simplify this a little to get the exact decimal value. So log 50 is the same thing as log of 10 times 5. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So now this turns into log 10 plus log 5 over log 5, which is the same thing as log 10 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5, which is just 1. And log 10 is also equal to 1. So I get x equals 1 over log 5 plus 1. So now, all that's left to do is do 1 divided by log 5 in my calculator. So I get x is equal to 1.431 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2.431. So this is my answer.